Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. As you can see, my, I've replaced my old partner, Melissa, with one that's a little cuter. What do you think, guys? Are we into Coco instead? Hey, hot boys and hot girls. Well, y'all, they're seriously. Hey, hot boys and hot girls. Welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to move the food into the He's bathroom. He's only hungry when he eats. Yeah, the only time he eats is when we're doing something that requires him to not be loud. Hey, hot boys and hot girls. Welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. By popular demand, we are making you Moscow mules. You know, Mil we've gotten millions of requests. We've gotten a lot of questions about Moscow mules. Mm -hmm. So Melissa, the bartender, is going to give you a little bit of a history on the Moscow mule and why it's called a Moscow mule. So for the whole Moscow, obviously you must know that vodka is Russian. So that's kind of where it gets the... Are you going <laughs> to... Just to tolerate you. That's where it gets the name, Moscow, and then for the mule is from ginger beer because it gives it a little kick. Woo! So, as you know, mules kick. If you didn't figure that out, that's really Yeah, tragic. mules kick. Yeah. If you <laughs> was a little I didn't just do that for fun. Anywho, there are other mules. Most people when they're at a bar, they're requesting, "Can I get a Moscow mule with tequila?" That's actually a Mexican mule. A Moscow mule with bourbon is a Kentucky mule. So you kind of get the idea. Moscow mule with rum is a Cuban mule, etc., etc., etc. So, oh, etc., not etc. Shut up. And the gin mule is a London mule. The uneducation is jumping out. Uneducation. <laughs> you shut the <laughs> up. Anywho, long story short, you get it. You can pick your cup of tea, but or your, or your cup, cup of or your mule. or your Moscow mule mug of. <laughs> Of tea. I hate you. All right, let's get right into it then. Let's get into it. So, as Melissa already said, any mule, the key ingredient is the ginger beer for the kick. I guess you're not you're not gonna give us a kick. Oh my god, that was so rude. She has no respect for her elders. Oh, I guess. Not. Yeah, what? She's way older than me. <laughs> Vodka. Obviously, we use top shelf because, mm -hmm. like, what anything below is like rubbing alcohol. It's just not something that you. Drink Cannot. unless you're really Weird. in a bind. Or like when you're in college, that was okay, but we're adults now. Yeah. Limes. Limes, the lime juice is like the most important, well not really, but one of the most important things. So the keys are... That was like incoherent. <laughs> I shouldn't have swigged that vodka, I guess. <laughs> vodka, ginger beer, lime. That that's is all the, you need. That's a component for a normal Moscow mule. We're gonna... Mix it up. Spice it up. So, cucumber, jalapeno... Like, that mix is one of my faves. If you haven't noticed, jalapenos, like, I could just snort them. I love them so much. <laughs> and the cucumber really balances out the flavor of the jalapeno really well. So one other necessity that we left out is a copper Moscow Mule mug that's engraved with your initial. <laughs> if you don't drink a Moscow Mule out of... A, a copper mug engraved with your initial. It just like doesn't taste the same. I guess if you don't have one, you can just like use, a normal, use whatever. A normal copper mug or a regular glass. So we're gonna start out with one shot of vodka, which Melissa, is two ounces. Melissa makes me measure it out because otherwise they give us alcohol poisoning. Also, these mugs I had in the freezer, so they're nice and cold, and they'll keep the drink super cold. And then, what's next? We muddle. I'm going to do a few cucumbers in both. And a couple jalapenos. I left the seeds in because I like it really spicy. So you might want to do this because this is a new instrument. I'm not quite familiar with it. It's kind of freaking me out. I'm going to step back because I don't want lime juice all over my shirt. Okay, it looks like a medieval torture device. <laughs> Which end do I use? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Guess I'll use the bigger end. So to muddle, you want to really like smash to release the flavors. 
and Melissa will tell you all about how you're not really supposed to muddle in alcohol. You're really not supposed to muddle in all the liquids and juices. It's supposed to be kind of a, a first. The first thing you do before, first thing you before you pour a shot. Oh, that wasn't tragic. But especially you don't want to muddle in bourbon. It's called bruising it. Yeah, you'll bruise like the you're bourbon. Like you for a bruising, <laughs> like Melissa so often does. I always muddle in the liquid. I just think that doesn't make any sort of sense why you wouldn't muddle in the juices because you're like infusing the flavor more. Yeah, that's but what I like. I like an infused yeah. experience. You can also buy effin vodka, and I don't say like effin like. <laughs> it's actually a brand, E F F E N. I want to say, is it Fifty Cents brand? Mm -hmm. Shout out Fiddy or Fofty as Vanderpump Rules stars may know him. But my little bicep is not working that well. But they have a great cucumber flavored vodka. And if that's out of your budget, Fedka has a cucumber lime. Right? Cucumber lime? Yeah, I think. That's pretty good. So we're gonna add the ice. We're gonna add the ice. A tangent. Some people want to measure the ginger beer because they want it to be like. Not necessarily oh, no. equal parts, but a little more equal. But me, I just like to top it. So you, you might be heavier on the ginger, but my drinks are better than most people. So I'm really not worried about it. Ah! Oh my I'm god. This is why Melissa is normally in charge of gathering the ice. <sighs> that was really traumatic. Something. That's just really something. So now you use... Good quality ginger beer. Do not skimp on the ginger beer because this is really the iconic moment yeah, for a meal. This is like the most important thing. I like this fever tree. It's refreshingly light in case you can't read and you're illiterate, like some among us. I won't name any names. That's looking pretty fabulous. Allow me. We will allow you. Ah! Oh my god. That wasn't necessarily Lord. the plan. <laughs> what else do we need me is straw. Hot Girl Kitchen has this covered. Oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so now we don't have really appropriate sized straws for a Moscow Mule mug, so we're just gonna kind of make our own DIY alert <laughs> how to cut your own straw. I can't. I cannot. Here you go. Then we'll save these for later. Just kidding. Now this is a perfect bendy straw for this experience. So you can sort of bend it to the rim. So it'll just sit like this on your mug. see anything quite this gorgeous in my life of you. <laughs> no. Let's taste it to confirm what we already know. Your, Your fave, fave could never. never. Cheers. Never in a million years. Never once. Wow. And you know another thing that we really love? Alcohol poisoning? Absolutely. You really do love some alcohol poisoning. Well yeah, but the point being is you might get some drunk videos here soon, so. Speak for yourself, girl. I live a life of sobriety. <laughs> Don't like forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm. for more drunk tutorials. Drunk, blacked out, poisoned by alcohol, and your babe could never be drunk like us. And function. Yeah, and it's be as good looking. You know when people get drunk and they're like hideous? Like we can't, can't relate. relate. Real high girl shit.